Vigorous pantomime did not draw forth any remark from Slatherby, who resumed his scrutiny of the magazine. So the activities of that stranger were just like a very energetic, dramatic entertainment to Philip Slatherby. Why? Because his uh, actions were very exaggerated and it seemed as if he was trying to gain attention of Philip Slatherby. So what he did in response? He did nothing and he just starting reading the magazine again. I say, exclaimed a young voice presently, didn't I hear you say you were going down to stay with Mrs. Salt and Jago at Brill Manor? So what happened? When Slip Philip Slatherby was having a conversation uh, with his acquaintance before the train left, this stranger, this young man, was listening to their conversation and he came to know that Slatherby was going to stay with Mrs. Saltman Jago. What a coincidence! My mother, you know, so he told Philip Slatherby that it is a great coincidence as he is the son of Mrs. Saltman Jago. I'm coming there on Monday evening, so we shall meet. So he told him that he is uh, coming to his home on this Monday evening. I'm quite a stranger. Haven't seen mother for six months at least. So as he was a rambler, a hiker, he used to visit different places. So he was away from home six, since last six months. I was away yachting last time she was in town. I'm Bertie, the second son, you know. So I told him that when last time she was in town, he was not there. Instead, he was yachting. He was boating. I say it's an awfully lucky coincidence that I should run across someone who knows my mother just at this particular moment. I've done an awfully awkward thing. So what that young man said, he said that it's a very lucky coincidence that he met a person who knew his mother because his situation right now is very awkward.